one man's trash is another man's treasure. Diapers, food, plastic bags, and yes, even coronavirus masks. One Israeli company has come up with a unique way to treat waste and transform it into a whole new product. Welcome to UBQ Materials. Located in the southern Israeli kibbutz of Te'elim, UBQ converts household waste into a fully recyclable thermal plastic. Nearly 30 tons of garbage arrive here at Se'elim each week. This is what the garbage looks like in its raw form. And this is what it looks like after it's been processed and dried out. Now it's ready to be turned into UBQ material. All types of trash end up here at UBQ's plant, which partially runs on solar power. This is the first factory in the world that can recycle every kind of waste, even coronavirus masks and pandemic protective gear. Every ton of UBQ material used prevents up to 15 tons of CO2 equivalent from being creative. Now the plastics that are not in their sense organics because they are not lignin, cellulose, sugar fibers, they will melt and bond into this matrix and create a new composite material which we call UBQ material. That is the result of mixing everything through this process and creating a homogeneous thermoplastic that can replace common plastics in the production of uh, end products. Its unique patented process reduces waste into its basic natural components. Once the garbage has been treated, it comes out in pellets, which can then be used as a raw material to produce everything from boxes to trays and cars. Each year, the company produces 5,000 tons of material, which costs roughly the same as conventional polymers. McDonald's is using our material for their trays, and, and now we're exploring other end products for the uh, material product designs in their branches. Daimler, uh, Mercedes-Benz, for auto parts, we don't use any water. We don't have any sludges, we don't create any emissions, and we use 100% of the waste. All these materials that we remove, Will, be, will go back to recycling, so it's a 100% conversion. UBQ's workforce comes from neighboring communities in southern Israel, where many of the country's major landfills are situated, including Gil Felus, who lives in Kibbutz Kfar Aza near the Gaza border. I work all my life on, on the plastic industry, creating the problems, and now I'm solving the problems. I believe that we can scale up and we can copy-paste this factory all around the globe. But the company is also giving back to Tse'ilim. In fact, thanks to UBQ, Tse'ilim is one of the first communities in the world to go zero waste. The startup is now working on expanding its operations to the Netherlands and hopes to soon build a plant in the United States. For CEO and co-founder Tato Biggio, having a lasting impact on the planet is the ultimate goal. Avoiding the landfill waste we are basically helping uh, the planet and by creating a new natural resource, we're leaving more resources to our future generations. From Kibbutz Te'elim in southern Israel, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.